Hello everyone. Uh, hope you have a good weekend. Uh, what we are going to do uh, today, uh, I've got a question on, on YouTube about uh, enforcing the uniqueness uh, at the at the record level uh, through the business rule. But unfortunately, business rules are uh, in scope with the attributes, so it would be difficult to apply such a unique combination between uh, between uh, multiple attributes to to en uh, enforce the uniqueness or avoiding the 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 duplicate. Uh, so how we uh, we can uh, we can accomplish it? We have another way that we're going to actually see today uh, that can ensure the uniqueness at the member or row level. So. Let's jump into our dev environment and we're going to see practically. So now you can see we are in our uh, dev environment and you can see MDS is up and running. So whenever you want to ensure the uniqueness and it's not like you want to ensure at the full row level, you can even take a part of the row and you can make sure that the, the, the combination of those attributes, they are going to be unique. Like you don't want them to be duplicated or repeated at, at, the, at the entity level. So the, the way how to do it, you need to go to system administration and then you need to select your model. And then obviously hit entities. You're gonna go into the entities, and in the entity, let me take the uh, let me take uh, let's say product subcategory because it's a, a bit uh, a, a long table. So I'll show you how how we can make sure that the subcategories are unique. Like people are not creating multiple uh, uh, product subcategory in the in the master list. So you can see we have attributes, explicit hierarchies, and indexes. So indexes are actually a way which help you to, to, to define the uniqueness or avoiding any uh, uh, duplication at, at, the, at the row level. So how are we gonna do it? Uh, let me just click on index and I'm going to create an uh, index. Uh, and obviously you can see we have a is unique checkbox. Like we can create an index, which is going to be a non-unique or we can create an index that ensure that uniqueness is going to be in place for those particular attributes, which we'll select, right? I'm not going to discuss index. Index is a separate uh, topic to discuss. And I do believe you have the idea. If not, uh, just put a comment. I'm more than happy to record a video, but let's say, I'm just going to call it unique product subcategory, right? So, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to choose the last two attributes and I'm going to create the, the index on these two. Like I want to make sure because I know name and code are the default column. Uh, it may be someone, you know, just put the similar value uh, in the name because code is automatic. It's more like a unique, uh, uh, sorry, uh, auto number. Uh, so we can ignore these two. These are the system uh, related column. But these two, we need to make sure whenever the business is entering the product subcategory, uh, the system need to ensure that the, the, the category doesn't exist, right? So we need to ensure the uniqueness. So let me hit save. And now you can see uh, we have the index uh, in place and it's gonna, and you can see it's unique is true. So that is going to ensure that these two attributes combination is always going to be unique. Now you can see, you can define even for multiple attributes on, on the member level, or you can even, you know, define it on, on the full row. Like you need to select those, those column to, to, you know, to ensure the, the, the uniqueness. Now, how are we gonna test it? Time for judgment. Let's go back into our model. And in the model, I'm now going to go to product subcategory. And you can see right now we have a bunch of subcategory into, into our uh, entity. I'm just going to create a, a new member. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the first member, which you can see, which has the products of category ID one, and uh, which has the, the, the category subcategory name as mountain bike. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat the same 
thing, right? Uh, because, uh, you know, if this has been shared with multiple user, people actually entering through their Excel interface. So sometimes they won't know that whether the categories uh, exist or not, especially once the data is really large, right? So now, will that system to control it? So now, theoretically, if I save it, it shouldn't say when it literally throw me an error that, oh, you are trying to duplicate the record, right? So let me hit it. And now you can see the duplicate attribute value cannot be saved because there is unique index on on that. So that's how you can uh, you can uh, uh, control the the uniqueness at at the the row level uh, in term of uh, the combination of multiple attributes. And even if you want to apply across the full row, you can do it uh, as well. So hopefully, I believe the the video will be beneficial. It will uh, answer your question. But please feel free to put any question or comment. If you want to know more about the modeling architecture, MDS, or data engineering, more than happy to, to answer. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like or comment the video, and I'll see you in the next one.